Ahoy there, mateys! Welcome to episode number one of the Tavern, a Sea of Thieves podcast. My name is Matt, also known as The Real Spoons from Sea of Thieves HQ, and it is so good to finally start doing a podcast about Sea of Thieves. I have been wanting to make this podcast for quite a long while, and a lot of just, you know, IRL things have been coming up, and uh, just a lot of other stuff has been going on that I just really haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I'm finally getting to it. This is episode, I like to call it episode zero because we're going to be kind of just talking about what the podcast is about, how you guys can actually contribute to the podcast, sort of what the structure of it's going to be going forward. Uh, and yeah, just a little background information about myself. So I think we can start there and I just want to talk about my background specifically with Sea of Thieves and, you know, Kind of how did I come about creating Sea of Thieves HQ and even just creating this podcast? So back when uh, Sea of Thieves was actually announced in E3, whichever E3 it was, I honestly forget because it was such a while ago, it seems. Um, whatever E3 that was, when I first saw the trailer for Sea of Thieves, I was like, this looks awesome. Like, this looks so cool. This is something that I can envision myself and my friends playing. Uh, it was just like this, this game that seemed like it was so simple um, but you could really see the potential of it just from the trailer. Like, it was just a simple game that had a lot of potential. And Rare was behind it. And obviously, you know, Rare has a great track record in development. People love Rare. And I was like, this is, this is gonna be, this is gonna be amazing, you know? Um, so, you know, hearing all this press coverage come out after E3 of people that got to play the game behind closed doors and the hype was building and building and building. And then I finally got into the technical alpha and I played the technical alpha for quite a while and I was just super hyped. Um, you know, it just even though the game didn't have a lot of content at that point, you could really see the potential. Uh, the special part about Sea of Thieves, you could pick up, pick up on it pretty much instantly. And that, that special part about the game is basically, you know, the fact that you can create stories organically and you have the freedom to do that whenever you want to. Uh, you can just build these journeys with other players that you meet across the seas. You can, you know, create enemies. You can create friends. Like it just, it just had these kind of endless um, gameplay loops, and it was just so addicting and and just amazing. And the art style was fantastic. And oh, the water! Don't even get me started about the water. We all know how great the water looks. All right, um, but it was just this amazing game that you could just see the potential of. And you know, then the beta came around and we played the beta and the beta was a lot of fun and then launch came around and sure it was, you know, it was a bit lackluster compared to what a lot of people were expecting, I guess you could say, but I still played the crap out of it. Uh, ended up getting Pirate Legend maybe like eight or nine months down the line, so it wasn't like insanely quick or anything like that, but I just, you know, it was just a game that I could really see the potential of and once Rare sort of, once Rare came out and said, we're kind of getting, by the way, too much into, uh, I guess, the decisions that Rare has made. But uh, this will be the last point as far as, like, my background with Sea of Thieves. But once once Rare was talking about, you know, oh, we're, we're going to put these microtransaction plans on hold because we, we realize that the game needs more content. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have, um, you know, we're going to have six updates in a year and they're all going to be free and they're all going to add everything uh something new to the game they're each going to come with like their own sort of like live campaign and and uh and we're going to do events in between those um you know dlc updates and it just it was just refreshing to hear a developer go okay we realize we didn't actually have as much content in the game as we want so we're going to actually you know push away our our uh, microtransaction plans for now and we're going to focus on content so that you guys are happy and obviously that has paid off you know sea of thieves has really seen uh, a, a great growth spurt uh, as of recent months because of streamers because of their rare content updates that have just added so much value to the game and it just it just awesome it's so awesome to, to freaking see that I, I can't tell you guys enough so um Basically, that's sort of my background with the game. Now, as far as my background with Sea of Thieves HQ, um, I actually started Sea of Thieves HQ a little bit before launch um, for, for Sea of Thieves. And my original intention was just like, you know, I love talking about Sea of Thieves. I think this game has a lot of potential. Um, I just want to create a Twitter page where I can just talk about Sea of Thieves. I can talk about, you know, updates. I can I can pull people on what they what they think of certain features in the game. I can, uh, you know, d 
get people hyped for upcoming DLC, like things like that. Like I just wanted to talk about Sea of Thieves. So I originally started out by just doing a countdown and I had these images that I would tweet out uh, leading up to launch. And as I saw, you know, um, th that we got closer to launch, more and more people were getting hyped and hyped on the Twitter page. And it was just really awesome to see, you know, tweeting out that first image that I saw, the Kraken in the trailer and like all the hype that was around that. Like it was just so awesome to see. Um, all the positive support that Sea of Thieves had and just the fact that everyone was just coming together and was just getting hyped. It was, it was fantastic. So I, I just kept it rolling. You know, I, I, I have not gotten sick of talking about Sea of Thieves since its launch. Like, I, I, I love the game. The developers are awesome. I love the content schedule they've had. I love the updates they've had. It's just, it's just been a fantastic fantastic experience so i'm even at this stage you know i've been a pioneer actually if you guys don't know what pioneers are they're basically people that um have early access to a lot of the features that are coming to the game before they're available to the public uh, or for before they're even announced to the public um so th i think they're calling them insiders now though and and you can actually opt in um, to uh, become an insider and, and get access to that. All of it's under NDA, though. Oops, sorry, I hit my microphone there. But all of it's under NDA, uh, so you guys can't actually um, talk about it. And I can't talk about it on the podcast, but I can say I'm a pioneer, and you know, it's just been an amazing experience to actually be part of that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my background. I know that was a sort of a long-winded response right there, but that is sort of my background with Sea of Thieves and Sea of Thieves HQ. So now I want to sort of talk about what you can expect from this podcast. So um, this is not going to be your traditional podcast where I sit down here for an hour and I just blabber on about, you know, all these Sea of Thieves um, things. And I just try to get like filler content just so I can reach like an hour in length of, of, of the episodes. I mean, occasionally we'll have pretty long episodes like that. But what I really want to do is I want to create different types of podcast episodes for this specifically re relating to sea of thieves of course so i want to have opinion episodes episodes where i sit down and you know i give my opinion on something um you know maybe it's maybe it's a new feature that was added to the game and it's maybe either really frustrating me or i really enjoy it and but i've seen some pushback in the community whatever it could be like i, I want to just give my opinions to you guys and then i want to hear your opinions so something that's great about the platform that i'm actually distributing these podcasts on it's called anchor and uh anchor.fm is the website so the great part about Anchor is that Anchor actually lets you guys send in voice messages so that I can answer your questions. Or if you have any exciting stories or feedback on the game or anything like that, I can actually include your audio in the episode. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to download the Anchor app because that's the only way you can actually submit voice messages to the podcast. And if you're more comfortable with like text feedback or something like that, um, feel free to just, you know, uh, tweet at Sea Thieves HQ, and I'll uh, definitely include that stuff in the podcast as well. Um, so, opinion episodes. That's that's sort of the first thing that I w really want to, um, uh, or I, I just explained, I guess, for Sea Thieves HQ or for the tavern. Oh my God, sorry. Uh, so I want to do opinion episodes. I also want to do idea episodes, ideas for new features in the game, new mechanics in the game. Um, you know, uh, just new, maybe new. Uh, visuals in the game whatever it could be it could be an idea about anything relating to sea of thieves and i want to do idea episodes so i want to come up with my own ideas and share them with you guys and like i said if you guys want to submit voice messages or or just uh, tweet to me with any ideas you have for the game i'd love to include that as well in the podcast um, and I want to do fan concept episodes. You know, there's so many talented artists out there in the Sea of Thieves community, as you guys have probably seen on Reddit, and I've, I've tweeted them out before, um, you know, just all over the internet, even on YouTube. You know, you've got people like Captain Falcor that do these amazing sort of fan concept, um, fan art uh, highlight videos, and that's been fantastic. So I want to have episode podcast episodes where I talk about that. You know, I talk about oh, uh, so and so has created this amazing fan art, and it's um, it, it this is what it looks like, and this is what it's about, and what do you guys think about this? So I just want I want to do that, and I'm also gonna try to include a sort of video uh, of 
um, this podcast. So I'm going to have this distributed out on Google Podcasts, iTunes, all that stuff, Spotify, Anchor. Um, but I also want to upload it to YouTube. So uh, even though it might just be audio on YouTube, at least when I'm talking about fan concepts, I can actually put images on there and obviously give credit to the artists. Um, so I also want to have episodes about storytelling. So, you know, if you guys want to submit stories that you've had in game, uh, whether that's through voice or text, like I love to include that in, in the um, episodes. Uh, and also just these amazing stories that, that I have while I play through the game. You know, it just, just happens organically. Like I love to just sit down and just talk to you guys about something that funny that happened, something that was frustrating that happened. And, uh, you know, like how, if it was frustrating, like how could Sea of Thieves and how could Rare change certain things so that it would maybe it wouldn't be frustrating or maybe it was my own fault that it was frustrating whatever it could be like it's just something that i, I have an idea on um and then finally just general discussions on the game like if it's not an opinion an idea you know storytelling just a general discussion on the game maybe like a state of the game sort of episode where it's just like this is the current state of the game um this is where i can see the game heading this is how i feel about the game and let me know how you guys feel about the current state of the game so uh that those are the sort of rough out that's a rough outline i guess of where i want to take this podcast uh i want to have opinion episodes idea episodes fan concept episodes storytelling and discussions on the game um all those different types of episodes i just really want to want to sit down and have so you know these episodes for the podcast might only be i've also said episodes way too much in the past like two minutes i'm sorry about that but you know i want to have you know if it's a 10 minute episode if it's a 30 minute episode like i i don't care how long it is i just want to sit down and talk about sea of thieves with you guys uh and then you know just distribute it out there so maybe i'll we'll have three or four episodes a week maybe i'll have one episode a week but it'll be um you know, an hour long. I don't. I don't honestly know um, because I want this to sort of happen organically, just like how Sea of Thieves uh, can create stories organically. So, finally, in addition to all that stuff, I would love to hear all of your feedback and questions through Twitter. If you use the hashtag the Tavern Podcast, and I will, uh, I'll see that on my Sea of Thieves HQ account. Um, so, I just love to hear your feedback on the podcast. Are there other episode ideas that you would have? Are there other um, do you have questions about the podcast? Any, anything like that, I would love to hear it. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys sitting down and listening to this first kind of episode zero. I know I was a little bit all over the place, but like I said, this is sort of episode zero where I can lay the foundation out for the, uh, for the rest of the uh, podcast. And obviously with these future opinion episodes, idea episodes, fan concept episodes, we'll have a little bit more structure to it because they'll be so focused. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy the podcast, be sure to follow it on whichever thing you're listening to the podcast on. And like I said, get Anchor. Go to anchor.fm and you can actually uh, submit voice messages, questions, feedback, uh, whatever you want to do. You can submit it right to the podcast and I can, I can actually include it in the episode. So anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. I really do appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take it easy, folks.